So suppose this is a skull. So we'll get back to that uh, okay. point. Idiots. Of idiots. Yeah. So what happens? This is a skull. Correct. So there'll be one covering around. This is a model of the brain, and there'll be one covering around it. So all in between any layer, there are spaces. Correct. So what is? What's so brain, it has there's it layers. Has layers inside the skull. Inside there's the a skull, skull, there is covering on the brain skull. called the dura mater. First, which can get injured is your skull. Mm. So if the skull gets injured, you can get what is called as a depressed structure. Correct. So this bone can get fractured. It can go inside. It can go come out, or it can fall off. Correct. So we'll go to the next layer, which is not there in this model. There'll be one covering on this called as dura mater. Correct. So if between the skull and the dura mater, if anything gets collected. So outside extra dural extra, outside extra. so extra dural hematoma that is the EDH that you're is talking. the EDH which I am talking about. Second thing, next uh, compartment is below the dura. So suppose you open the dura, it can get covered here. Below the dura, subdural so outside subdural hematoma outside, outside the, the brain. Correct. And below that is your brain. If that gets damaged, you can get a contusion or a what do you call it intracerebral hematoma. 